All right, several new developments to report today in the Flint water crisis. First, Governor Snyder released his short-term and long-term plans for the city. And also today, the second and third homes in the city had its lead pipes removed. A positive step, but still a very, very long way to go. This says lawmakers also got a tour of Flint's water plant. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester joins us back. He's now in Flint again. Hank, very busy day in the city. It's always a busy day here in Flint, it seems. Uh, Devin, Kimberly, we're talking about that tour right now. I want to show you we're inside the water plant here in Flint. We've never been invited to this facility before. Take a look, though. Uh, no water flowing here anymore. This is where that switch was made almost two years ago. Uh, we're going to have more on the tour with lawmakers in this facility tonight at 6. Uh, though tonight, uh, some progress outside of this building. More lead pipes coming out of homes that are a danger. Crews on scene, work being done, progress being made. This is all part of the mayor's fast start program here in Flint. 30 homes will have lead pipes removed. How did this happen? You know, how was I selected among everybody that might want this done? I wondered about that, and but I'm just happy it's happening. This home, the second one in the city to have old pipes taken out, new pipes put in. The homeowner has been relying on bottled water for almost two years. Well, I'm happy to see it done, but I'm wondering too uh, if, you know, if uh, every home in the city of Flint has to go through this, and I'm wondering what that might be like. The mayor moved ahead with her program in early March. The governor encouraging a more of a wait and see approach. The mayor saying, though, there isn't time. All pipes, she believes, need to be removed. I want to say that the goal, my mission is to totally get the lead out of Flint. The question now, funding. Right now there's enough cash to remove pipes at 30 homes in Flint. That's all. Federal money that could be funneled to Flint would not even be available until later this year. And the lawmakers that were touring this facility today, we talked to them about the concern over the lead levels still being so high in many homes here in Flint. We're told more numbers will be released tomorrow morning. They're also meeting again in Lansing, coming up with solutions to help the people here in this city. We're live here in Flint. Hank Winchester, back to you. All right, Hank, I know for the folks of Flint, this has uh, got to feel like the progress is rather glacial. When will it be, uh, the, when can we say that those 30 homes will be done? Those 30 homes, Devin, will be done this summer. But again, once those 30 are done, at least with the mayor's plan, that money is gone. So yeah. she either needs the feds or the state to step in, or we turn then to the governor's plan, who's also talking about removing some pipes here in the city. Long, long road ahead. Hank Winchester reporting to you today from Flint.